Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Prosto Hub and today we are going to discuss the topic CAD CAM in Prosthodontics. So this is an important short essay and also you can expect a long essay from this topic. To those who are new here, my name is Dr. Jolsna and through this channel Prosto Hub, I discuss some of the important prosthodontic topics that you might find useful for your university exam preparation. So let's get into the content list. So the contents include introduction, advantages and limitations of CAD CAM, the various CAD CAM components and the CAD CAM systems that we use in dentistry and the role of CAD CAM in different branches of prosthodontics that include the removable one, the fixed prosthodontics, maxillofacial processes as well as implant processes and finally conclusion and references. So before getting into detail, I request everyone to please do like and share my videos and if you are new here, please do subscribe and support me. If you have any queries or feedbacks, you can either comment below this video or you can mail me at this mail id. So let's start. Introduction. So we know that CAD CAM is an acronym for computer aided designing and computer aided milling or machining. This can also be referred to as computer integrated machining process. So it was Patrick Henratty who is considered to be the father of CAD CAM and in 1971, Duret introduced CAD CAM in restorative dentistry and it was Dr. Moorman who was the developer of first commercial CAD CAM system in dentistry. Now, the introduction and evolution of CAD CAM technology in dentistry has greatly revolutionized the treatment concept and processes fabrication. So here the CAD CAM technology fabricates prosthesis directly from the data obtained from the patient's mouth. And now CAD CAM systems are being used not only for crowns, bridges, inlays and onlays, but also for the fabrication of removable prosthesis, stents as well as implant components. Now, coming to the advantages of CAD CAM system, first is the application of new materials like high strength dental ceramics were used with CAD CAM technology for processing fixed processes and uh, no traditional impressions are required for CAD CAM. We use digital scans and uh, the application of CAD CAM technology reduces the labor cost as well as the chair side time. It produces chair side restorations and so less appointments are required for CAD CAM prosthesis. And the CAD CAM technology produces restorations with high precision and accuracy and it avoids cross contamination between the patient dentist operational field as well as the dental technician. It improves the quality of restoration, eliminates the use of laboratory equipments that we use for conventional lost wax technique. And it improves speed, ease of use and quality digital scan and faster design and fabrication and much more natural appearance when compared to restorations fabricated by conventional technique. Patients that include initial high cost of CAD CAM equipment as well as the software and also the practitioner needs to spend more time and money on training in order to master the CAD CAM technique. Coming to the CAD CAM components which include the scanners that is optical or mechanical scanners. So scanning is either performed directly in the patient's mouth or indirectly after taking an impression and fabricating a master cast. That is it can be intraoral or extraoral. The next component is design software which can turn these captured images into a digital model to produce and design the processes. So manufacturers, different manufacturers have got different design softwares and many manufacturers use their own data formats specific to that particular manufacturer with the result that data of construction programs are not compatible with each other. And then the last phase that is digital fabrication process tools. So here it involves developing a restoration from a CAD model into a physical part that undergoes processing, finishing and polishing before being inserted into the patient's mouth. So this include subtractive manufacturing that is milling or milling and grinding or additive manufacturing which is called as rapid prototype or 3D printing. So basically CAD CAM technology has got four steps that is first one scanning and then digitizing the information the designing the restoration in the computer and then activating the milling machine to fabricate the processes. Coming to the CAD CAM systems in dentistry. So depending upon the location of the components of the CAD CAM system, there are three different production concepts. So the first one is a chair side production or office based devices. 
the second one the laboratory production and the third one centralized fabrication in a production center so in the first concept all components of cat cam system are located in the dental clinic and fabrication of dental restoration does takes place at chair site without a laboratory procedure and in second one this is somewhat equivalent to the traditional working sequence wherein the dentist sends the impression to the laboratory where a master cast is fabricated first and then the remaining cat cam production steps are carried out completely in the lab and in the third one there is computer assisted production of dental processes so here there are satellite scanners in the dental laboratory to be connected with the production center via the internet so the data sets produced in the dental laboratory are sent to the production center for the restorations to be produced with a cad cam device so these are the three available systems in cad cam in dentistry next we are going to discuss the use of cad cam in different branches of prosthodontics the first one to discuss is removable prosthodontics which include removable partial denture and complete dentures So regarding removable partial denture the framework design is first drawn on the working cast and then it is scanned using a laboratory scanner and the framework is fabricated by printing a photopolymeric framework and then cast with chromium cobalt or else the framework can be printed directly from chromium cobalt through direct metal laser sintering now regarding complete denture it is a complexity of complete denture fabrication procedure which is the main reason why digital technology has become available only recently for complete denture prosthodontics and the first attempts were developing a computer aided system for designing and fabricating the complete denture were done by Mehta et al and actually the goals of digital fabrication of complete denture is mainly to reduce the number of patient appointments and also to improve the predictability of treatment outcome and the available uh, commercial cad cam complete denture systems are awarded denka ceramel full denture systems etc and here in digital cad cam system the denture base is milled from a pre formed acrylic resin block or puck which are previously polymerized under great pressure and heat and this results in a highly condensed resin which releases very less monomer and thus it has very few micro porosities so we know that porosities are one of the factors that give rise to microbial colonization of the denture base so compared to conventional dentures the cad cam dentures are better hygienic and they also have better mechanical properties now let us see the avardan cad cam system so this system helps in fabrication of two types of denture using subtractive manufacturing one is the milled denture base that is avard and xcl in which the teeth and base are a single unit it consists of xcl1 and 2 xcl1 is single layer tooth that has a dentin core xcl2 is multiple layer tooth that has a dentin and enamel core with natural morphology and the second one is milled denture base with bonded denture teeth so let us see the clinical procedures in avard and So first the preliminary impressions is made with irreversible hydrocolloid and then fabrication of model with polyvinyl siloxane elastomeric material and then the fabrication of custom trays are done with thermoplastic moldable trays known as Wagner trays or autopolymerizing acrylic resin. Next border molding with avardent border molding impression material and secondary impressions are made with avardent impression material. and then the recording of vd this is done with a device called as the anatomic measuring device so this device is used to adjust and hold the occlusal vertical dimension it also serves as a gothic arch tracing device and also provides upper lip support adjustment so once the vd is determined gothic arch tracing is done to record centric and eccentric relation with the anatomic measuring device and again the cranial coordinates are recorded with measuring ruler attached to amd and then interocclusal record is obtained at centric relation now laser scanning of the models with interocclusal record and virtual alignment of scanned models and then milling of denture base with the recesses in which the denture teeth accurately fits and thus the denture teeth are bonded using proper bonding mechanism so this is avardent cat cam system Next let us discuss the advantages of cad cam complete denture 
So we know that the fabrication of conventional denture usually requires five clinical session. The first and second session for a primary and final impression, the third session for jaw relation, and fourth and fifth session for try-in and insertion. So we know that manufacturing conventional denture requires a lot of work from dentist and also from the dental technician. On the other hand, digital dangers just need between two to four sessions to be completed. So there is reduced clinical chair side time, which is the biggest advantage. Next, the digital storage of patients data. So this database allows for the rapid future fabrication of spare or replacement danger. Then the polymerization shrinkage does not occur in CAD CAM danger, which we have already discussed in our previous slide. That is that since the dangers are milled from a pre-polymerized acrylic resin block, which is produced under high pressure and heat, polymerization shrinkage does not occur. There is no much porosity and also very less microbial colonization. And the CAD CAM dangers are aesthetically superior when compared to conventional danger. So here, the virtual designing process allows one to define the minimal thickness of danger base and also to add a stippled structure and anatomic features on the polished surfaces of the danger resulting in superior aesthetics and finally the lack of polymerization shrinkage associated with milled danger result in a highly accurate danger fit and improved retention now coming to the disadvantages of cat cam dangers so the main clinical disadvantages mentioned in the literature are material waste high cost limited capacity to shape complex features like undercuts, problems with occlusal vertical dimension, and also compromised aesthetics and phonetics. So it seems that digital dangers require further studies and improvements to ensure efficiency and satisfying result, and to consider digital dangers as a reliable alternative to conventional dangers, further clinical studies with longer follow-up periods are required. Next, coming to fixed prosthodontics. So here, first is the CAD CAM based machinable ceramics which we have discussed in detail in our dental ceramic session 3 and there we have discussed in detail about the different machinable ceramics that is the CEREC system, the CELE, the Prasira Ulceram, the LAVA CAD CAM system, its advantages and disadvantages. So in order to know in detail, please do watch ceramics part 3. Next coming to implant prosthodontics. So CAD CAM technology has been used to fabricate surgical templates and implant abutments and other components. So we know that surgical guide helps the surgeon for precise positioning and angulation of the implant during placement in relation to remaining natural dentition and residual alveolar ridges. So the fabrication of CAD CAM based surgical guides consist of following steps. That is the first one is the fabrication of a radiographic template, then computerized tomographic scan, and then implant planning using the interactive implant surgical planning software and finally, fabrication of the stereolithographic drill guide. So we have discussed in detail about the surgical template, the various designs and fabrication in our implant diagnosis and treatment planning session two. Please do watch it for further details. Next, coming to the implant abutments. So a custom design, perfect fit and higher resistance are the main characteristic of CAD CAM implant abutments. So we can fabricate patient specific uh, abutments and the advantages of CAD CAM fabricated custom abutments include high precision and they are milled from medical grade titanium. So they have superior biocompatibility and also the best possible integration with the implant fixture. And it has got a correct path of insertion, perfect emergence profile, etc. And about the implant scanner abutment and the real time modeling, we have discussed in detail in our implant diagnosis and treatment planning session three. Please do watch it for further details. Next, coming to maxillofacial processes. So CAD CAM has been used for the fabrication of maxillofacial processes using the rapid prototyping procedure. And this has resulted in more accurate shade matching and also providing precise anatomic features. So we know that in conventional procedure for the MFP manufacturing, it includes several complex steps that are costly, time consuming, very traumatic for the patient and depends upon the skills of the maxillofacial team that is a dental clinician and the maxillofacial technician. Whereas in CAD CAM, 
3 dimensional surface imaging is done using the CAD software and then this 3D surface image helps in the fabrication of a resin model with the lithographic technique and then the wax pattern is made and this completed wax pattern once again computer assisted 3 dimensional imaging is done the data is entered into the computer and processes is milled by computer aided milling machine and thus a silicon MFP is fabricated using the CAD CAM technology. Now let us see the advantages. It includes improved technical and clinical quality, improved efficiency and efficacy and improved quality of care. And we have already discussed the digital technology in fabrication of MFP in the prosthetic rehabilitation of maxillectomy patient session 3 and there we have uh, discussed about the direct and indirect method of fabrication using the RP and M technology. So for more details please do watch the final session of prosthetic rehabilitation of maxillectomy patient. Now this is the comparison of conventional and digital workflows for fabrication of nasal extra oral processes. So here in the conventional technique we know that an impression of the defect and the surrounding tissue has to be recorded followed by casting and then waxing up of the prosthesis which has got a holding support for facilitating the trying and finally creating the mold using the lost wax technique and fabrication of the processes. Whereas in digital technique the 3D scanning is performed using the facial scanner followed by importing the files into a CAD program and here the defect area is isolated through a procedure called as segmentation and then it is converted into an STL file format by the uh, RP and M software and then the processes is designed and it is manufactured either directly or indirectly. In indirect technique we obtain a model of the processes or the mold followed by conventional workflow whereas in direct technique we directly print the processes with adequate material. So there are two techniques direct and indirect for the digital fabrication of MFP. Finally concluding this session. So CAD CAM aims towards eliminating the traditional impression methods by designing and machining the restorations with the help of a computer to produce chair side restorations with much improved qualities than that of the conventional ones. And this technology has been constantly worked upon and it seems to have a more innovative and advanced future in the years to come. And a positive application of new materials and advanced technology is very much essential for dental service in the future and CAD CAM technology definitely will contribute greatly towards this aim. So as Duret has stated, the systems will continue to improve in versatility, accuracy and cost effectiveness and will be a part of routine dental practice in the coming time. These are my references. So thanks to everyone who have watched this session. I hope you have followed well and please do like, share and subscribe ProstoHub. If you have any queries or feedbacks, you can either comment below this video or you can mail me at this mail id. So it's a bye from ProstoHub until our next session with another topic.